guys, it's Sam and it is empties time. I have my bin right here, so let's get started. The first thing is this Dove Dry Shampoo and I like this and I've tried a few other dry shampoos and this one was by far my favorite, but I have found something that I like so much better that you'll hear in a product updates. This you know did its thing it made my hair feel clean uh, and it took away the greasiness but the smell of this was so off-putting I just probably wouldn't I wouldn't get this again since I found another one that I like so much better uh, when you find something that you like so much more this kind of pales into comparison um, it was good but I found something that I like better so I wouldn't repurchase that again next is this Purology serious color care anti-fade conditioner i'm almost done with the shampoo but i want to do this today so <laughs> you'll see a shampoo with another empties this is longer lasting hair color guaranteed unfortunately whenever i use this i would see the hair color going down the drain so it didn't really save my hair color or i feel like it, it really doesn't do what it's supposed to so i wouldn't get this again and i was really disappointed because it's purology is not a cheap brand so you know some things work some some things work sometimes they don't work for everyone uh this is the vo5 t therapy conditioner and this is not my first go-to when i think of hair conditioner but what i do with these is i use it as a sort of like a hair mask in the shower so I'll you know shampoo my hair and then I'll put my conditioner on I'll put a bunch of this like probably half a cup of this into my hair and let it just stay there for five minutes rinse it out and I feel like it does a pretty good job of conditioning my hair this is when by Chazine sweet almond texture balm I finished it all up and I like this because of how portable it was. I used to take this with me on trips and just put it in my purse because it is so small and easy to carry. Uh, I probably wouldn't get it again because it's not my favorite kind of balm for your hair and I didn't really like the smell. Let's see, is there any other hair products hiding in there? Well, if there is, oh, we'll get to that. Uh, here are the ShopRite cotton squares and I used these up I did not like these whatsoever I was just trying something new uh, I used I used to get the Swiss Burrs from Bed Bath and then I got I think I got a bad batch because I opened up a new one recently and those were fine this was just cheap it disintegrated and I used them up finally it took a long time though here is another Neutrogena makeup remover this is really good I'm almost done with the pack that I got I get mine at Costco so you know you get hundreds of them um, I'm I'm gonna switch back and back to the Kirkland not because this one I really like this one but I just want to switch back and forth between the two uh, here is the Avon care moisture replenish daily hydrating cream SPF 15 with nourishing sunflower seed oil this I use actually as a body lotion because it was so this is supposed to be a daily moisturizer because it has SPF in it and it was so thick and I only used a very little bit but I just felt so greasy I ended up using it as a body lotion and it you know I finished it much quicker that way but um, it was good for that it was just too strong for the face so wouldn't get that again it was just I love lotions or creams that just sink into the skin really fast and you and you know not non-greasy here is the point green tea cleansing cream and I got all of it out because I really did like it I got this from H Mart and I thought that it was a cleanser and I was using it and I'm like you know this doesn't feel like a cleanser it felt like a it was I, I felt like I was putting cream on my face and then I somehow made the connection I was like cold cream hello uh, so that's what you, this is to remove your makeup once I figured out how to use it it worked really well it's like a cold cream and I really like this I would definitely consider getting this again I'm just using a few other Asian cleansing cream products now that I know I had, because I had a couple other ones to be honest with you now that I know how to use it that's how I've been cleaning my makeup off 
lots of lotions, hair and lotions. Uh, this is the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream for dry, sensitive skin. I really like this. I think I like the pump better just because I wasn't sure how much to put onto my body. I use this only for my body. And it kept my skin really soft, but I just couldn't... I got it all out. I just... I like the pump version of this better. And when I had skin issues like on my body the doctor recommended this I really do like it if you have sensitive skin if you have dry skin it's really good but I think the bottle version is better um, I'm trying something else out now and I definitely like that one better um, my favorite uh, lotions from the drugstore brand brands are Nivea, Vaseline, uh, Lubiderm those three are really good um, I'm trying Dial right now okay this is one of one of the products from me box i finished it uh this is the pure supplement lemon blueberry rejuvenating overnight mask and it took a while to finish because you didn't need a lot you could do a lot if you wanted to and sometimes i did that if my face felt really dry but it's all gone and this was such an odd consistency it was something that i needed to get used to it was kind of like a what not exactly a gel it kind of looked like a souffle sort of uh, it was a clear kind of souffle I don't know it was just really different than the moisturizers that I'm used to getting here um, this is a Korean brand and they're really into like the gel clear fluffy kind of texture so I finished it I wouldn't get it again just because I um, it just you had that feeling on your face for a long time and um, I'm glad I tried it but the one I'm using now is something that's just I wish I had the consistency I wish I saved a little bit of that but oh well this one it's great for nighttime this is called the crazy 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 moistage wrinkle essence cream extra rich and it is extra rich I feel it on my skin um, and I know I said that I feel it with this but this one kind of felt slimy this one I could feel it was really extra rich and just working with my skin I hope that made some sense I do like that one uh, this one was okay and then let me see is there anything else in here oh I feel like I showed this to you already I'll talk about it again uh, this is the Olay Complete All Day Moisturizer with Sunscreen Broad Spectrum FPF. This is an amazing uh, moisturizer for daytime. I would definitely get this again. I saw at Costco that they had two of these uh, you could get and I would definitely get it. This was just felt really good on the skin and absorbed really quickly and I, I like this a lot. I would definitely repurchase that. Uh, oh, this is the... Elastic Q10 by Naster uh, face mask. I really like this. I got this at H Mart and it was so saturated. And um, yeah, this was really, really good. So I would get that again. And I finished this is the Sephora, the travel. I finished that and I keep these because I could use this again for traveling. I've put other stuff in there. Uh, other makeup removers this was a free sample of the algenis it was a it was a serum it was the one that was like $95 and I I got a pretty good sample size I used it for over a week I didn't really notice a difference and I probably wouldn't spend the money to get it I just I used it every night and I just did not I didn't see anything I also finished this Living Proof Prime Style Extender. This this was a really nice general sample. I really liked it and I would definitely think of purchasing this again. I have tried a couple of Living Proof samples and I've liked them and this one was really nice. I just like the way that Next it made my hair feel. Next is this eyelash curler. This is the product that I got from Dollar Dynasty. It's an Asian dollar store. and. I thought that, you know, since being in an Asian store that this would be, maybe it might work, but it's so bad. It's just wrong for my eye shape and it pinches my eye. I've ripped out a couple of eyelashes using that, so um, I've tried to use it a few times and it just was not working. And then the last thing I want to share with you, I made sure to clean it out. This is the Chobani Greek Yogurt Indulgent from the Indulgent line and they have maybe four or five flavors. 
This is the Dolce de Leche Caramel and Dark Chocolate. Now, I don't really like dark chocolate, but in here, this is like a dessert in a cup. It is so good. I'm trying to, I'm, I just got a new flavor today. It's the Raspberry and Dark Chocolate. I am not really a dessert person. I do appreciate it once in a while, but this is so good I wish it came in super size because it is that amazing you guys know I'm on my new diet kind of lifestyle change and I'm so glad that I found a yogurt that I like this is delicious and I would highly recommend that you go get it they sell it everywhere now I've seen it at Wegmans Target uh, well I guess I can't say everywhere I've seen it at Wegmans and Target and I think Walmart too, but this is just amazing and ugh, I can't, I had to clean it out so I could share it with you guys. Okay, so that's my empties video. I hope you guys are all doing well and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.